I have, so I have been for a long time, I've kept a document that's like my brain dump. And if I come up with any observation that I think is amusing, I'll just drop it in there. And then when I'm writing, I can go look at that and it'll spark. Oh yeah. I remember that observation that could work. Now um, there are, there are professional comedians who say that's a bad idea. You shouldn't do that because if it's a really good idea, you'll remember it. But I, I think even an idea that may not be good right now could turn into something good. And you always want to be writing a lot. So I don't ever really throw anything away. It's rare. I throw away an idea, but I have this main dump that I put everything in. And then every once in a while, I'll organize it, especially if I come up with something that I think is especially good. I'll organize it in a separate place, depending on what I think it's going to be used for. It's if, if it's a stand up joke, it goes in that folder. If it's a movie idea, it goes in that folder book idea, different folder, et cetera, et cetera. And then, so everything's organized by project type. That generally helps me quite a bit. Premises and jokes. I, I just keep all my premises and jokes bundled together, uh, depending on what medium they're for, because I know when I sit down to actually produce something, whether I'm writing stand up or a humor article or let's say a script for something, I know there's not going to be like notes that I'm going to be able to crib verbatim. I'm going to be basically starting from scratch, but I just want, you know what I want is I want someone else in the room with me. So what I, who I get is me from a few weeks ago when I wrote down all these ideas. Uh -huh. That way I'm, I'm looking at something that's not just me alone in my brain. So that's, that's how I do it. That's how I organize it. And, you know, everybody's got to have their own system that works for them. But Michelle, you asked, and that is how I do it. Uh, hopefully that can help you figure out what works for you. Yeah. And, you know, that was a big takeaway from the comedy author series we did as we tried to we do all of them and then pick up on common themes. And one of the big themes we found is it's like, here is a way to do it. But it's like, what works for you may not work for someone else or like what pe some people only may like be um like attracted to so like you have all these funny filters for example but some right. people may only have an intuition for a few of them and that's how they hammer out jokes you know it's just kind of like these aren't like in stone laws these are like helpful guides but most yeah. of the authors were like Here's how I've seen it work. Here's how I helped a lot of people do it. But it's also what works for you and what you're going to be consistent with is what's going to help you the most. Exactly. Everybody's got, to, yeah, everybody's got to find their own way. Okay. Um, I don't know where I was. Oh, I think digital versus non-digital is where my brain went to like, it's whatever's yeah. most intuitive for you. But I will say as someone who was non-digital for all of my career and then the pandemic hit and I started using Google Docs, and like, I now have one that is like joke ideas. I do have one that is like new jokes. And I do have some that are sets. Now, when I go out to a show, I'll, ha I'll still have my set list that I write by hand. But digital, if you can do it, it's just more searchable. Like if you're like, oh, I had these That's what I like. You can search the topic and it's just right there. That I would be dead without that searchability. And then yeah. with paper, the reason, I mean, I know, I know a lot of people who still just use a legal pad and they swear by it, but... Mm -hmm. I would lose that. Like if you lose the paper, you're done for like, that's, I can't even imagine that that would be a tragedy. So got to have it in the computer, got to have it backed up and it's got to be searchable in my opinion. Yeah. And, and she asked if there's any apps. I mean, Google docs is free. I've heard people use Evernote before. Uh, I, I, yeah, I am mistrustful of anything in the cloud or online. And maybe that's just cause I'm old, but I'm just scared that it's going to disappear if it's not on my computer. So I always save a document on my computer hard drive and oh, back so it it's up. all on your actual computers how you yeah work. i i'm i'm skeptical of the i mean i'm sure i'm just being silly i i'm sure it would work just fine and also i would have access to it anywhere but then so another thing i've been doing lately is i'm doing voice notes so i'll just do a voice note of something and then the way apple makes those and how you download them to your computer is extremely inconvenient so i need to figure out how, a better way to manage that but I do like that because sometimes I think better when I talk as opposed to write, which I know mm -hmm. a lot of comics uh, have that same uh, proclivity. Yeah. I mean, what, what was interesting to hear when we had Mark Normand on here was like, 
he's a very meticulous writer. So I was like, oh, I bet he's very like in the page and word for word. But his writing process is literally like ranting and raving for an hour alone in his room and then just picking things that found he found interesting or potentially funny. Like it's a lot of him just talking to himself like a crazy person and then he'll like refine it from there. Yeah, I have a lot of crazy person voice memos myself. 